Hey everybody, this is Kevin and today is Friday the 9th of October um, and I have some exciting, well an exciting card this morning to share with you. I feel energized, I feel upbeat, I feel alive. Um, <clears throat> I'll share this week has been one that has had me feeling a little somewhat fatigued, a little low in energy. Um, and I don't know why. I've had some um, like physical changes, some physical body uh, sensations that have happened. And um, no reason, just ooh, um, for me to pay attention to what that is and what that looks like. So without further ado, let's get to this morning's card and then meditate. Um, here we go. The Swan Queen. Um, beautiful energy, beautiful card. Um, I was excited. I was shuffling um, the Hidden Realms cards um, this morning. And, um, you know, Kyle Gray talks about how when we shuffle cards, there's jumpers that jump out. Um, and I've come to almost expect the jumpers um, and want them to come. So uh, this morning, the Swan Queen just jumped right on out and um, laid down. And the, the Swan Queen talks about transformation. And typically, um, it's normal and natural, the cycle of life, that when we're in dormancy, the depths of winter, we, um, you know, most animals hibernate and um, just really sleep and rest. The autumn, which in the Western world right now, is a time for putting away, for reflection, for discarding, for sorting out, for moving through things that no longer work for us, no longer serve us. Um, it is a normal, natural thing to do. Trees shed their leaves. Uh, grass goes down into the roots. Um, people uh, remove their usual knick-knacky things and get ready to celebrate what has happened, what has already happened, what's already occurred. They get into the thanksgiving, giving thanks for the blessings and thanks for all the goodness that they are experiencing. So this is all normal celebratory uh, behaviour. The Swan Queen really speaks deeply to being an ally for transformation, but encourages us to look at the path and the journey that brought us right here, right now, where we are. Not particularly the, 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 the darkness, unless you're a pessimist. And if you are a pessimist and you're struggling with well, where is the brightness in the world? You have to dig even deeper. And that might be your message. It might be the message that look at things in a less dim light. And perhaps the message is look at the reflection of where you are to see where did the light get turned off? Where are you not seeing the light that really is there? Where and when did you put yourself into the darkness? Um, that's a tough one because there's a habit that gets formed, that gets generated. And to come out of some of the deeper habits, the deeper darkness, requires us to rely upon the help and assistance. And the big word here is trust in other people to help pull us out of those feelings that Nothing's possible. Woe is me. All of that. But that's one aspect. If you are someone who, like so many, are wondering, well, I'll just wait till January. No, do it right now. Go into the depths of where you've been. Reflect upon what you've done. But more importantly, and this is hugely important, find the brightness and find the life, find the love, find the joy, find the happiness, find the brightness in every aspect of what you've created so far. In the lightness, the brightness, the joy, the happiness, the peace, the harmony in those realms that you have experienced 
because I believe we all experience the darkness and the lightness in the realms, in your reflection of when you've received the brightness, the lightness, the joy and the harmony, that pattern is going to reveal the powerful source that you can tap into to then recreate it for what you want to have in the future. For example, every appliance, every um, thing you plug in, um, everything you do requires energy. Think about this. The energy to manifest something big and brilliant is a lot. You have to get upbeat, you have to get energized, you have to get just your creative juices. That's all vibrational energy. If you want something big to transform, if you want something huge to happen, you have to generate the energy. If you want to turn on a, a huge light bulb or you want to power up a building, you need a lot more energy than it would be if you're putting on a small little lamp. Just think about the energy that you're creating. The similarly, if you're looking to, which I hope you're not, but for those that are looking to be destructive and be all of those things that are not so good, that are not for the highest good of mankind, it also takes energy. It takes those forces to make that happen. So this reflection is about if you want bright things, abundance, prosperity, love, joy, peace, happiness, and you want clear understanding as to what you want your future to look like, how you want to transform, start by reflecting on when it happened before, gather that energy together, put it in a place, and then begin to craft exactly what you want to have happen. The third part of it, which is really also important that the Swan Queen talks about is the patience, the time. You have the intuition, you have the gut feeling, you have that power to craft what's best for you, what's for your highest purpose. You also need the patience. That's where it goes a bit cattywampus. Folks are used to picking up the phone or going online and click, click, clack, clack, getting what you want tomorrow. It's possible. The universe is multi-dimensional, multi-vibrational and moves very quickly. If you think about how quickly a storm comes from one coast and ends up de debilitating another coast, how quickly, if you ask for well, miracles, something appears. Some of these things are instant, but if there's a plan to go forward, a plan to be crafted, a plan that involves other dynamics and other people, the best laid plans is to just let go of the process and let time craft it. All right, my friends, it's time to meditate. Off with my glasses. We bring the Swan Queen in, um, feet flat on the floor and palms towards your heart. An open heart, an open body, open mind, open chest, everything open. Big breath in. Let it out. This morning, let's do a body scan and just really pull uh, light into your tips of your toes. Imagine that you're seeing energy and light along your uh, toenails. And then just scan the skin, the surface of the tops of your feet. As if you can see through the brightness of your skin, the, the allure of your bones and all the tissues. Then move your energy, your mind's eye up through your ankles and your shins. And just as if you are your own x-ray machine with your mind and your intuition full on, opened up, move to your knee joints. Just think of a mist, a light that is drawing you into healing any part of your body that needs to be released. Any tension that needs to be dissolved. 
any energy that needs to be energized and picked up, move into your thighs, your upper leg bones, into your hips and your hip joints. If your hip joints are stiff, not working, having pain, maybe some mild arthritis and difficulties, breathe into those areas. Think of that negativity, darkness, ache, pains, any of that stuff. Imagine as you breathe in the light, the bright, the joy, let the dark, painful red energy, stiff energy, let it be dissolved, diminished, reduced and released. Come into your belly, your buttocks, your low back, your second chakra, action is, power is, stir it up, get it going. Come a bit further up to your belly button and that area below your heart, right below your ribs, that big expansive part of your body, solar plexus. This is where the light expands even more. Think of the long part of your digestive tract, lower and upper digestive areas, GIs, whatever you want to call it, and then send energy through all of that. Release the tension. Relax the muscles that process food. Relax the liver that filters. Relax the kidneys that filter all the fluids. Heal the spleen, the pancreas. The gallbladder. Move on up into your heart chakra, fourth chakra. Change the colour if you want. Just see that heart beating, every single beat, sending blood round your body and cleaning the blood as it goes, oxygenating the blood, bringing fresh blood back. If you're feeling particularly vulnerable, open that vulnerability up and allow that vulnerability to be a cause for power. See the vulnerability as being openness, courage. Vulnerability is an indication that change is about to happen and we're up for it. We're open to it, listening to it. Move your energy, your intuition, your mind's eye up into the upper registers of your chest, into your shoulders. Breathe in the brightness that's you. Breathe in the healing that's you. Breathe in the intuitional power that's you. Move down your arms, both arms. Upper arm bones, left side, then right side. You can do this as quickly or as slowly as you want. Come into your elbows, the elbow joint, the elbow muscles, all the bits and pieces that join your upper and lower arm bones together. Study the lower arm bones and how every one of your nerves, muscles, ligaments all link into your wrist and how that wrist becomes a powerhouse to move your fingers and then move your mind to those incredible hands. The power of both thumbs and how they work with both index fingers. How your middle finger connects to your ring finger on both sides and how your ring finger activates the power of your little finger. Your mind, your intuition, the power of your mind has the capacity to open up your palms wide and stretch your fingers out and simultaneously has the capacity to 
ball your fingers into a fist for greater power. Breathe into your neck, move up to your jaw, breathe into your throat area, your ears, all the parts of the lower piece of your head and your skull. And scan your ears, your outer ear, the piece of flesh on the side of your head and how delicately and brilliantly the shape of your ear is contoured just for you. Move to the inner ear, the small bones that vibrate back and forth so you can discern and decipher sound. And from the parts of your inner ear through your sinuses and how your sinuses make them alive, bring energy to them so that they may smell. Open them up. Remove the debris that's in there. Breathe in deep to remove anything that you're allergic to. The signs of allergies in our head, in our eyes, in our nasal passages, in our ears is an indication to pay attention. Pay attention to where we are bringing in what is no longer needed. Clogged up. Cause of irritation, frustration. Move to the top of your head, the very tip top of your head, right above your forehead and energize everything all the way down into the soles of your feet. And think of an electric current running in through you, out from you, pulsing with the electric current and the power of the universe. Know that your entire body, your entire be being are molecules, polymers. And the power of you being here links to the power of other people being here and together. You're an important part of the electromagnetic energy of this expansive universe. Know that with the current connecting you to the expansive universe, the magnificence of the universe, the magic or miracles that's possible, Know that whatever happens, you're still connected to that expansive energy, that expansive universe. Still plugged in. Grounded by your feet, lifted by your head. Know that by letting go and transforming and opening up, you... Get to plug into the greatest source you have, which is yourself. Be of yourself and respect others for being of themselves. Just live and bask and be and breathe and meditate with this much power that's coursing through you. With every breath in, bring in through the cleansing light. With every breath out, exhaust out anything that holds you back.
with this great expansion in your heart, in your being, with the aliveness that you feel. Make a small declaration that you are now open and willing to listen and receive the energy that is for your highest good You can call upon whatever higher beings' energies you wish to be with you throughout your day. Then bring your hands to the prayer at Heart Centre. Honour yourself. Honour yourself for taking the time to adjust taking the time to visit with your soul and your spirit through these messages. And lift your thumb knuckles up between your third eye centre and together, bow forward. Namaste. I honour you. I honour the light with you. I honour the love with you. I honour all that is good about you. Okay, my friends, thank you very much for joining me this morning. I'll be back here again at 5.30 for another card, message, whatever's going to occur. Uh, in the meantime, have a great, fine, fab, fabulous, fantastic Friday. I wish you nothing but good things to happen today. And um, love you. Lots of love. Bye.